premiere. <laughs> no one is required, though. We're good. So, so one of the things the Able Gamers Foundation really tries to do is we try to bring games, you know, game controllers and things like that to people with disabilities. <laughs> if anyone wants to come closer, because you want to take pictures, you can, but it's not. Um, and the problem that we have with a lot of controllers that are out there is they're incredibly expensive. I mean, incredibly expensive, and they're not that flexible. So we were working with the people at Evil Controllers, um, and if anyone's familiar with Evil Controllers, they do some pretty awesome controller mods and things like that. And so what we've come up with is this thing called the Adroid Switchblade, and I'd like to show it to you guys now. It's black on black right now because it's the last prototype, so it's going to be a little bit hard to see. But here it is, guys. And so there's some pretty amazing things with this controller that I really want to point out to everybody. One, the thumbsticks have been moved to a panel so that you can move back and forth. So you can mount these to, a, to like a, a control arm, or if you're bed bound, you can move these next to you. Um, there's also the analog portion of it. So if you can't use the controllers at all, you have the analog thumbsticks here. All of the controllers across the top are fully programmable. So you can take a standard switch like this, plug it in, go into program mode, hit the switch, and down here at the bottom is actually a replica of the Xbox controller. So you can say, I want this switch to be the A button or the B button. You can also do, for a lot of people that are physically disabled, holding down a button is hard. So you can actually toggle a button on and it'll stay held down. So you want to just spray bullets and then toggle it off. <laughs> um, further, you can, it has three profiles. So this button can be three different things if you want it to be. The other amazing thing that we did, which I think is just the coolest, is rumble packs so that you can feel it as well. So you can actually put the rumble pack on your thigh if you're laying in bed or on a tabletop. It's got dual rumble packs that you plug in right here. And you can also do macros. So what this does now is this brings a level of control to the, to the disabled gaming community that's never been seen before. So, you know, I invite everyone to come up here and take a look at this. Um, the price point hasn't been sold out right now, but it, it's, this is fairly expensive only because of the amount of modification. It's going to be under $500, though, and compared to some of the competitors that are out there, they're upwards of $1,800. We're still really proud of the price point, especially given the controls, the ability to um, map it to anything you want. That's really the big thing is you can make this switch forward and jump at the same time, you know, because that's what you need in order to play. So this is going to be a really great equalizer. I'm really proud that um, people at Evil Controllers work with us and were asking us a lot of questions. We were also giving a lot of feedback. The first two prototypes they sent us were terrible. And they said, well, well, let's try it again. Let's add more and more. So this really is just the most cutting edge controller. It's available for Xbox right now. It'll be available for PS3 a little bit later. So if you guys have any questions, you're welcome to just ping me right afterwards. And if you guys want to come look at it in the last few minutes that we have, unless we have any more questions that you want to open to the floor, we can do that. But, um, you know, this is, yeah. this is just exciting.